If you've been watching Clean My Space for some time now, you probably know about my passionate love affair with baking soda. This cheap little box of awesomeness is basically cleaning royalty in my books, and the amount of things that you can do with it would blow your mind. Back in 2012, we actually made a video about just how awesome baking soda is for cleaning things. 10 things to be exact. And we figure, it's just about time to make another video about this mystical, magical stuff. So buckle up, Buttercup, because this week we're talking about 10 more things you can clean with baking soda. Here's a quick and easy way to get some of the stank up out your dishwasher. All you have to do is sprinkle in about a cup of baking soda into the bottom of your dishwasher, leave it overnight, and then run an empty load through the next morning. The baking soda should handle any foul food odors that have been lingering around in there. This isn't a replacement for a full-blown dishwasher cleaning, but it will freshen it up. No need to buy a produce wash if you have some baking soda lying around your house. There are two ways to wash your fruits and veggies clean using baking soda. You can either sprinkle a little bit onto the fruit or veggie, use a little scrub brush, scrub it well, and then rinse and dry. Or you can create a simple spray bottle of produce wash by mixing three tablespoons of baking soda to one cup of water, and then spray directly onto the fruits or veggies prior to wiping and rinsing them. I mentioned this one in our first ever haul video, which I will link down below for you. This makes an excellent freshener for your sock drawer, or the shoe closet, or anywhere else for that matter. You just need a little shaker like this. This one I found at my local dollar store, and all you have to do is fill it with baking soda and optionally add some essential oils to the mix, whatever you're choosing, and voila, you have yourself a deodorizer. Remove all the built up oil and hair product residue that's stuck in your brushes or combs by creating a simple soak of about a tablespoon of baking soda and some warm water in a good sized container. Remove all of that hair and then drop your brushes and combs and let them soak for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then rinse them and dry them well. Now be mindful if you have wood brushes or combs, don't do this for them because you don't want to get them wet. For all of you Clean My Space community members who have asked me how to get rid of ants, here is your answer. Baking soda will help you get rid of ants. Simply use equal parts baking soda and powdered sugar. Put a couple of tablespoons worth of that mixture into a jar lid or a similar shallow dish. The ants will be attracted to the sweet, sweet call of the powdered sugar and will be killed by the sweet, sweet reaction that takes place in their intestines, which kind of makes them explode. Now, because I don't have ants available, I will be using currants for demonstration purposes. This is an amazingly useful cleaner to use all around the bathroom for sinks and tubs and tiles and everything else in there. All it is is a teaspoon of dish liquid, a few drops of any antibacterial essential oil, I'm just gonna use tea tree oil, and baking soda. Then add enough water to make it into a gooey paste and use a sponge to scour away any marks on all sorts of bathroom surfaces. Rinse it well and then buff it to dry. If you're a nail polish junkie like me, you most likely know about that annoying yellowish tint that nail polish can leave behind on your nails. So to whiten your nails, all you need is a small plastic bowl or container in which you will add three tablespoons of baking soda and a tablespoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide. This will form a paste which you can then spread onto clean nails with a cotton swab or your fingertip. Make sure you get under your fingernails too. Leave the paste on your nails for about five minutes. Scrub it well with a nail brush or a cleaning toothbrush and then rinse away with warm water. If you're looking for a handy tip to keep your luggage smelling fresh while you're traveling, look no further. Simply fill a small sachet, sachet with baking soda and toss this into your luggage. It's especially helpful, after all, your luggage contains as many clean clothes as it does dirty clothes. You can also use some essential oils if you want to replace the scent of funky undercrackers with something a little more pleasing. Now, if you happen to get stopped by airport security for having a little sachet of white powder in your suitcase, tell them to visit cleanmyspace.com and watch this video. They'll totally let you through. 
as wonderful as pets are, they also tend to leave little bits of themselves behind everywhere they go. And that includes odors which get trapped in the fabric of your furniture. There is, however, an easy fix to manage the smells emanating from your sofa. Just start by vacuuming your furniture, getting rid of all that hair and dander, and then sprinkling baking soda over the entire surface. You want to use enough to see the baking soda residue covering the whole sofa, let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then vacuum it all up. If you want to give the loo a quick cleaning but don't have time to get on your hands and knees to scrub away at it, just give it a quick wash and rinse with nothing more than half a cup of baking soda and your toilet brush. Just pour the baking soda in there, let it sit and do its thing for about 20 minutes, then use the toilet brush, scrub and swirl the baking soda around the sides of the bowl and under that lip, finish up by flushing and you are good to go. Get it? Now that's not too bad at all. 10 tips and tricks for the price of one. Well, actually for the price of none because these videos are free. Now it's your turn, Clean My Space Nation. Let me know in the comments section down below if you have any tips or tricks for using baking soda around your home. And even if you don't, just say hello because I love reading your comments. Our friends at Audible.com are still offering everyone out there a free 30-day trial and free audiobook of your choosing. You get to choose from over 150,000 book titles and all you have to do is visit audible.com slash cleanmyspace. Link is down below. We're currently listening to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams as read by the wonderfully entertaining Stephen Fry. It is six hours of enjoyable listening and it is free if you would like to try out the service. Again, the link is audible.com slash cleanmyspace. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and then click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Remember to join the over 4 million people who have discovered CleanMySpace.com and all of the cleaning information contained in its neat little package. There will be a link down below for you, of course, that you can click or tap. And as always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.